How dare you criticize real American heroes? American Army, Marine, Air Force, Navy forces face attack in the Middle East from the most radicalized murderers in the history of the world. Our brave forces face attack every day, thousands of miles away, so we don't face attack here. Did you know less than 1% of our American population serves in the military, which is now the smallest since it was before World War II when we were so horribly unprepared for war. These brave volunteers, all volunteers, serve four, five tours of duty in the Middle East, just like Chris Kyle did in the movie American Sniper. My three sons all served, two Marines, one Army officer. They urged me to see the movie. I watched a superbly made film by Clint Eastwood show our military selflessly defending our freedoms and defending each other. But what really impressed me, sitting in a packed theater, while the movie ended, original footage of the funeral procession showed all those American flags held by throngs of citizens, grateful citizens, and then the credits rolled with no music. And that crowd sat stock still until the last credit. Complete silence. A theater full of regular citizens paying tribute to a fallen hero. It reminds me of that movie Red Dawn, where Americans were so proud of their U.S. military. I remember those young people standing on top of that hill yelling, Wolverines! Yes, I remember. We Americans defend our freedom. We defend ourselves and we protect and we honor our military. When I left the movie, I was shocked to find the liberal media, the liberal Hollywood elite, criticizing the movie and its flag-waving glory. Those leftist haters of American freedom and haters of the American military just don't get it. They must live on another planet. These brave few volunteers, men and women, are defending the rights of the liberal elite to speak their garbage. How dare you criticize my military where my three sons served year after year and tour after tour of duty in some of the most hellish places on earth. Liberal elite of this country, look around you. Face reality. With regular citizens all over the country thanking our military, I have one question for you. Why don't you thank them too? Liberal media, liberal Washington elite, liberal Hollywood haters of our flag, you ought to be ashamed.